Good health to all from Rexall. Yes, it's Sunday. Time for the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show. Presented by the makers of Rexall Drug Products and your Rexall family druggist. Good evening. This week, we independent Rexall druggists would like to play Santa Claus to all you tired, last-minute Christmas shoppers. Our present to you is quick, easy, economical gift buying, without all the rush and worry. Suggestions? Well, there's Caranome, for example, one of America's oldest and most respected lines of beauty aids, and a Rexall exclusive. We have Caranome in delightful gift sets for as low as $2. And... On up to a completely fitted traveling case for $50. And believe me, the lady who receives Caranome will never forget the gift or the giver. Then there's Stag, Rexall exclusive, popular toiletries for men. You can buy them individually gift box for as low as 75 cents. Or in handsome combination sets up to $2.98. And here's another big help. Most of us Rexall druggists are prepared to gift wrap your selections, ready either for mailing or the Christmas tree. So, if you're faced with some last-minute gift buying, look for the store with the orange and blue Rexall sign in the window. This week, that sign means quick, easy, can't-go-wrong Christmas shopping. Merry Christmas to all from Rexall. And now your Rexall family druggist brings you the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show, written by Ray Singer and Dick Chevrolet, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, Robert North, Janine Roos, Anne Whitfield, Walter Scharf and his music, our special guest Jack Benny, and starring Alice Faye and Phil Harris. For weeks now, the Harris children, like children all over the world, have been thinking of nothing but Christmas and Santa Claus. They've been on their best behavior, and as we look in, we find Alice complimenting the children on their good deportment. Now, you've been particularly good, Alice, and I'm sure that Santa Claus will bring you lots of presents. I hope so, Mommy. And as for you, honey, you've been just as good as Alice. You've been going to bed early, putting your toys away, and eating all your food. The only thing is, you haven't been drinking all your milk. Well, I try, but you know how that stuff gags me. Phil, I'm talking to little Phyllis. Oh, where is she? She was here a minute ago. She went in the den, Mommy. I'll go get her. Phyllis! Phyllis, Mommy wants you to... Phyllis, what are you doing with those crayons? I'm going to draw a picture on the wall. Don't do that. You know we got to be good till Christmas. But I've been good for three weeks now. Alice, it's an awful strain. I know. <laughs> but it's only five more days. Don't crack up now. You've been so good for so long I know But as Daddy always says It ain't been easy, Clyde (laughs) Alice, have you asked Mommy and Daddy About Santa Claus yet? No, but I will Children, children, what's going on in here? Yeah, what have you two been doing? Mommy, Daddy, we want to ask a favor We'd like to stay up and see Santa Claus when he brings the presents on Christmas Eve. Well, honey, Santa Claus has a lot of other stops to make, and he might get here very late, and he can't... Oh, can't we, Daddy, please? Well, uh, well, well, okay. Now, you kids continue to behave yourselves, and I promise that you'll see Santa on Christmas Eve. Now, run along and play. Go ahead. Oh, thanks, Daddy. Gee, I can hardly wait for Christmas Eve. Now, Phil, why did you promise the children that? Now, if they don't see Santa, they'll be very disappointed. They'll see him. And just to make sure, I'll dress up like Santa and come down the chimney. (laughs) They won't be able to tell me from the real one. Daddy? Yes, dear? Don't you dress up and make believe you're Santa like last year. Boy, was that corny. something, Alice, I still can't figure out how they knew that it was me last year. What did I do that was wrong? Well, for one thing, you were supposed to come in singing Jingle Bells. I did. Oh, I know, but those lyrics, I can still hear them. 
Ham, hops, and turnip greens, they melt right in your mouth. And candy gems and a harmony grits, and that's what I like about the South. And yeah. Oh. And what's wrong with those lyrics? That isn't the way we sing it up north. Well, can I help it if you Yankees don't know the right word? It's what I like about the sand. Yeah. <laughs> Never did it that way in my life. You don't think I can play St. Nick? We'll have to get somebody else to do it. Yes, but who? Well, I'll think of somebody if you'll just let me concentrate. Now, if I think hard enough, something will come out. Good morning, Philip. <laughs> For this, I had to concentrate yet. Hello, Alice. I just dropped... Hey, Willie, in. wait a minute. Hmm? Willie, maybe you can help us. Look, we're trying to think of who we can get to play Santa Claus for the kids on Christmas Eve. Now, we want to get someone who looks and sounds like the real thing. I know just the man. Who? Me. <laughs> I shall be glad to portray Christopher Kringle. <laughs> Christopher... Well, Donner, my Blitzen. <laughs> Fine Santa Claus you'd make. I'd make an excellent one. I'm quite an actor, you know. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see myself popping out of the chimney, bounding into the living room and saying, Ho, 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 and a Merry Christmas to you little kitties. And what do you, we darlings, desire as a Yuletide memento? Thank you, Tallulah Bankhead. <laughs> Now, you'll do me a favor. Will you get lost, Index? Go someplace and make a double entry. Check some books. Make some mistakes. Find some. Well, you don't want me to help you. I won't. No. I have to run along anyway. I have to meet my girlfriend at the taxidermist. I hope they did a good job on her. <laughs> Imagine that little squirt playing Santa Claus. He couldn't impress me if he came in with a bag full of sponsors. <laughs> Now, look, Phil, he may be small, but he might be all right. I wonder how he'd look in a fluffy white wig and beard. Like a short beard. <laughs> look, Alice, we got to get somebody who's big and fat and who can come... Hey, wait a minute. I got just the guy, Don Wilson. Oh, Don would be perfect. Sure. I'll call him right now and see if he can come over for Christmas. Oh, swell, honey. Oh, now the kids won't be disappointed. Santa will show up. You know, there's something wonderful about watching a kid on Christmas... Waiting for Santa and listening to those jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Passing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on Bob Hill ring, they're making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Hey, oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride. And soon Miss Alice Fay was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank. Misfortune seemed his luck. He got into a drifted bank and we, we got a sock. Gee whiz, I hope Don can make it. He's going to be terrific as the Santa. Uh-oh, that must be Frankie. Hiya, Curly. Hiya, Frankie. Come on in. Yeah. Hey, you look pretty good, Waldo. <laughs> Bangler, what do you got in all them packages? Christmas presents. Got some things for the kids and Alice. And here's something for you, Curly. For me? Oh. 
You got a present for a little old curly-headed me? Yeah, I got you. Oh, Frankie. That's sweet of you. Oh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Well, that's all right, Curly. But the thought. <laughs> oh, Frankie, you know how I appreciate it. It touches me deeply. But and you're going to get sloppy about it. I'll take it. <laughs> Where's Alice? Oh, I meant to tell you, she's inside calling Don Wilson. See, the kids want to see Santa Claus on Christmas Eve, so we're asking Don to play it. Why are you getting Don Wilson to play Santa? Well, what else am I going to do? Well, let him stay up and see the real Santa Claus. Yeah, but I don't know what time he's coming. <laughs> Can I have that again, Herman? <laughs> Why don't you let the kids see the real Santa Claus? You know, you better get some sleep, kid. <laughs> so you're another one of those cynics, huh? Wise guy who don't believe. You do? Of course. Just because you've never seen him don't mean he's not there. You must realize, Curly, there are some things in life that are inexplicable. <laughs> there exist certain psychic phenomena that are ethereal and beyond the comprehension of we mere mortals. Don't you agree? Oh, and... Indominably. <laughs> Curly, you can take my word for it. The real guy will show up. Look, will you stop already, Remley? I'm in enough trouble. I'm trying to get a guy in your... All I got to say is it's a good thing kids have more common sense and faith than some grown-ups or Christmas wouldn't be much fun. I know that on Christmas Eve, old St. Nick and his reindeer will come flying through the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you mind if we have somebody stand in in case he's grounded by a low fog over Burbank? <laughs> All right, scoff if you will. I'll drop over Christmas Eve. Maybe then you'll sing a different tune. Goodbye, infidel. <laughs> Poor Remley. He ain't been the same since he switched to buttermilk. Bill, Bill, I called Don, but he can't make it. However, he said he has a lot of active friends, and he'll send one of them over. He said we'd have to pay the actor $10. So what? It'll be worth $10 to make the kids happy. Hey, honey, did Don say he could get someone positively? You know, this is very important. Now, Phil, Phil, Don promised, so stop worrying. It's still five days till Christmas Eve, and if you keep this up, you'll drive yourself batty. <laughs> And for five days, Phil worried. Now as we look in on the Harris home, it's Christmas Eve. Phil is downstairs trimming the tree and impatiently awaiting the arrival of Santa. Alice is upstairs reassuring the children that he'll be there. But, Mommy, it's 10 o'clock already and Santa isn't here yet. Gee, Mommy, do you think maybe he isn't coming? Now, now, don't fret, girls. Of course he's coming. You better watch out, you better not cry, better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Making a list and checking it twice, gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're away. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness. Santa Claus is coming to town. That's the last ornament. Hey, gee. Looks pretty good, too. Now, if Santa only shows oh, up... Bill, with... I was just upstairs with the children. And... Oh, honey, the tree looks beautiful. Yeah, ain't it? <laughs> hey, Alice, how are the kids? Are they, are they impatient? Oh, they'll be all right. Hello. 
Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, Merry Christmas, Frankie. Oh, Merry Christmas. Hey, Frankie. Hmm? What do you got there? Milk and cookies for Santa Claus. <laughs> I put them on the mantle for him every year. Milk and cookies? Yeah. I just put them here over the fireplace. Hey, where are the kids? Oh, they're upstairs waiting for Santa. Yeah, and I'm waiting for him, too. When's the guy going to show up? It's after 10 already. I'll be patient, Curly. He's got a long trip from the North Pole. <laughs> Besides, his reindeer ain't as young as they used to be. Oh, keep place. quiet, will you? <laughs> I'm paying the guy 10 bucks, you'd think he'd get here on time. <laughs> the subterfuge is also unnecessary. Uh-oh, there it is. I bet that's Santa Claus now. I'll let him in. I'll go with you, honey. Okay. Well, Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. <laughs> Hello, oh. Santa Claus. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, and where's my $10? <laughs> That's Manny. Come on in, Jack. Hey, Jackson, what are you doing here? Well, Don Wilson happened to mention that you were in the market for Santa Claus and you were paying $10. So I thought that I... Jackson, since when do you have to go around playing Santa Claus for money? Well, Phil, please, I'm not doing it just for the money. There are other reasons. I mean, I'm doing it because, uh... Well, there's, uh... Not to mention... Oh, I could go on naming reasons like that all... <laughs> Frankie, Merry Christmas. Huh. Don't Merry Christmas me, you imposter, you. A oh, fine-looking Santa Claus. I think I look charming. <laughs> charming, he said. Where'd you get that messy red suit? It's got spots all over it. I rented it. The Santa Claus had it last year was a sloppy eater. <laughs> Phil, how do you think I look? Like a bloodshot leopard. <laughs> I think you look ridiculous. Get a load of that white beard. Where'd you rent that moth-eaten thing? Oh, oh, that I didn't rent. I was playing gin rummy with Monty Woolley, and I won it. <laughs> of course, if you people don't like me as Santa Claus... Oh, pay no attention to these two, Jack. I think you make a wonderful Santa Claus, and you're worth what we're paying you. Phil, give Jack the $10. Okay, okay. Here you are, Jackson. Thanks. <laughs> little Phyllis will get a kick out of it. I'll go call little Phyllis and Jack. Uh, Jack, try to convince her you're really Santa Claus, huh? Little Phyllis? Phil, I thought I was doing this for your benefit. <laughs> I mean, if it's for little Phyllis, I, I wouldn't think of taking money. No, no, no. It's okay, Jackson. A deal's a deal. Phil, please don't embarrass but me. But Jackson... But it's for the kid. I wouldn't think of taking the $10. Well, if you insist... seven fifty is plenty. <laughs> what kind of a heel do you think I am? <laughs> Now, Phil, it's mighty sweet of you, Jackson, to play Santa Claus for my two kids. Two kids? Yeah. Uh, let's see, seven fifty each. Uh, nah, nah, I can't take. Any, I can't take any money at all for this. Tell you what, Phil, if you wanna, you can buy me a little something for Christmas. Like what? Anything that Alice can afford. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, but now look, Jackson, it's up to you to make the kids think that you're Santa. This impersonation is preposterous. Santa Claus won't like this. Besides, you'll never be able to fool the kids. Oh, I don't know. Well, wait a minute now, Jackson. It'd be awful if you don't. If there was only some kid we could try it out on just to see if Mr. we can... Hey, where are you? I brought something for you. Uh-oh, that's Julius. <laughs> Hey, everybody. That's Julius. That's just the kid we need. Come on in here, Julius. Right in here. We're in here. Now, look, if you can fool him, Jackson, you can fool any kid. Don't worry, Phil. I'll just sit in this chair and you watch his reaction when he sees me. Okay, Dad. I certainly hey, hope... Hey, Mr. Harris, I can all... Hey, Mr. Harris, don't you feel a little chilly? <laughs> no, why? You left your red flannels lying on the chair. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I'm not red flannel. Don't you recognize me, Sonny? You look familiar. Well, I'll give you a hint. I'm that jolly old man with the white beard. Well, if it ain't Gabby Hayes. <laughs> Julius, he ain't Gabby Hayes. What's the matter with you? Don't you recognize Santa Claus when you see him? This is Santa Claus? <laughs> All right, son. I'm old Saint Nick. Gabby and Nick. do this to us little kids. In the name of juvenile humanity, I protest this favorite district. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Now sit in my lap and tell me what you want for Christmas, or I'll break every bone in your precious little body. Gabby Hayes, Gabby Hayes. Get away from me, you imposter, you! You're nothing but a fake. I am not. Oh no! What would I find if I lifted up that white wig? A brown one. <laughs> Goes a cute little child. He has all the charm of live bait. <laughs> I told you you can't fool kids. Oh, kids, kids, kids. You can't class him as a kid. He's a wise guy. Besides, he's older than my kids, and when the girls come down, they won't know the difference. Jackson looks old enough oh, to come be. Come on, come on, children. He's right in here. Well, there he is. Gee, Santa Claus. Hello, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas and hello again. This is Santa Claus talking. Come here, children, and tell me how you like old Santa. We like you fine, Santa. You're just like we pictured you. Yes, but, uh, Santa... What is it, my child? You look awfully old. Ho, ho, ho. I am, little girl. After all, I'm Santa Claus, and I live for hundreds and hundreds of years. How old are you? Thirty-nine. <laughs> Oh, Santa has to be going now. Here are your toys, girls. Thank you, Santa. Yeah, thanks. Well, I'll be seeing you next year. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Up, Dancer, up, Prancer, up, Donner, and Blitzen. Ho, ho, ho! And away! The big ham. Well, children, what did you think of Santa Claus? I liked him, but I was a little disappointed. Why? I expected him to take out his violin and play Love and Blue. <laughs> you mean you kids knew it was Mr. Benny? Sure. But we didn't want to say anything and hurt his feelings. Daddy, when is the real Santa coming? Well, uh... Well, you see, honey, he's... Well, he'll be here soon, kid. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Look, kids, he may get here too late. So I'll tell you what. I'll tell you a Christmas story, and then, and then you run off to bed, huh? Well, all right, Daddy. But we wanted so much to see him. I know you did, and maybe you'll see him next year. Now, look, sit on my lap, and I'll tell you a beautiful Christmas story. You Ready? It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would... The... I thought I heard sleigh bells. No. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced through their heads. Alice. Alice, what are those bells? What's that? Be quiet, Shirley. I don't see anybody. 
the kids do. Look at him. Gee, Santa, we knew you'd come. You couldn't fool us with any make-believe Santa Claus. We were waiting just for you. Oh, sure, we've been very good girls. Oh, what a lovely dollhouse. Thank you. And all these things are for me. Can I open them now? All right, Santa, we'll wait till morning. Thank you very much. And a Merry Christmas to you, too, Santa. Of course, we'll tell them. Merry Christmas, and goodbye, Santa Claus. I told you would show up, Curly. But Frankie, I don't get it. I heard it, but, but, but I didn't see him. Of course you did. He sure is a nice looking, old gent. Alice, did, did you see him? I'm not sure, Phil. I, I almost thought I saw him standing by the fireplace. But Alice, how could it be? If he was standing there, by Phil, what are you staring at? The mantle. Alice. The milk. And cookies. They're gone. The first Phil and Alice will be back in just a moment. But now, here's your Rexall family druggist speaking as another stand-in for Santa Claus. Yes, friends, there are 10,000 such stand-ins for Santa this week. 10,000 independent Rexall druggists who are ready, willing, and able to take the rush and worry out of your last-minute Christmas shopping. You see, we've seen to it that our stores are filled with beautiful, distinctive, sure-to-please gifts for the home, for the children, for the entire family. Gifts, it's a pleasure to choose, economical to buy. So look for the store with the orange and blue Rexall sign in the window. This week, it's headquarters for quick, easy, last-minute Christmas shopping. Merry Christmas to all from Rexall. Phyllis, Alice, look, children, uh... Santa said something to you, and you said, yes, we'll tell him. What did he say? He told us to be sure and wish you and Mommy a Merry Christmas. Now, wasn't that sweet of him? Now, girls, you're all tucked in. You've seen Santa, and you have everything you want. So go right to sleep. Good night. Good night. Good night, babies. Daddy. Yes, dear? Go to sleep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Phil Harris. The Rexall Drug Company, Alice and I, and our entire cast want to thank you so much for listening to our show and wish you the best Christmas you've ever had. Merry Christmas, folks. And our grateful thanks to our pal, Jack Benny, for being with us. Thank you, Jackson. Good night, Christmas everybody. Christmas seals you buy once a year will help protect you from tuberculosis all the year. Use Christmas seals generously. This is Bill Foreman wishing good health to all from... This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.